Hi, I'm pastry chef Maria Kemp of Beyond Decadence and welcome to Mastering the Details, a video series to help you learn tips and tricks to make you more successful in the kitchen. So let's get started. Today we're going to talk about room temperature ingredients. You know a lot of times a recipe will call for ingredients to be room temperature and you forgot to pull everything out in advance so you figure what difference could it really make and so you throw in cold eggs right out of the refrigerator, cold butter, you know, you whip up frosting with cold cream cheese and you're wondering why it doesn't come out correctly and it's clumpy and lumpy and just not the desired effect. Well, let me show you some easy ways to correct that. So let's talk about room temperature ingredients. This is a stick of butter I just pulled out of the refrigerator. It's hard as a rock. And here's a stick of butter that I pulled out probably about two hours ago at this point, maybe an hour or two. But you can see it's soft, and if I put my finger in it, it's going to push through without going all the way down to the bottom. You can see the indent, and it's not melty around the sides. So this would actually mix up beautifully in a recipe that called for room temperature ingredients. Same thing with this cream cheese. I just pulled this one out of the refrigerator. It's not even open, and it's hard as a rock where this one's been out about the same amount of time as the butter, and when I press my finger lightly into the surface, it leaves an indent. Now, I can't microwave on this plate, but there are some other tips and tricks that you can use if you did not pull your ingredients out in advance for them to um, soften up. So you can always use the microwave in a microwave safe container and start in very small increments because you don't want it to be melted or melty. So we're starting to get liquidy around the edges. You don't want to reach that point. So start as low as two to three seconds at 50%. It'll take a little time, but you're going to end up with a better result and just check it frequently. So those are, uh, that's just one way that you can do it. For eggs, what you can do if you forgot to pull those out in advance, you can put them in warm. Now, not hot because you don't want to cook them and you don't want them to become, you know, unsafe. So just put them in warm water for about 10 to 15 minutes and that will help warm them up. So as soon as you realize that you didn't pull them out in advance, go ahead and put them in some warm water as you're getting the rest of your recipe together. And then hopefully, you know, they'll be ready um, in time when you're ready to add the eggs to your recipe. So those are my tips and tricks on room temperature ingredients. Um, in case you forget to pull them out in advance and what they look like. It makes a huge difference having room temperature because it will incorporate into your recipe and blend beautifully and it's going to make a difference in how fluffy the end product is because of the science that goes behind the ingredients being able to blend smoothly and consistently instead of being lumpy and clumpy. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notifications, so that way you'll know when I create another video on mastering the details. See you next time.